Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Drago. Welcome to the fourth episode of my Demon Souls Platinum Trophy Guide. And today we're going to gear up, finish the gear up, gearing up for uh, a playthrough. We're going to go to Valley of Defilement. Since I'm doing a faith build, we're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to go get some faint stones. And we're going to get ourselves a Mirdan Hammer. And we're going to make some blessed weapons. And we're also going to take on the Leechmonger, uh, one of the easier bosses in this game. Uh, all it takes is just a few uh, arrows to cheese him. So I'm going to show you how to do that boss fight nice and easy. Uh, and hopefully we're going to get the White Tendency event for the Valley of Defilement. And we're going to be able to grab Istrel, uh, which is a spear uh, for a fake build. Uh, probably not going to be using it because it does require some dexterity, which I'm probably not going to raise, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll change my mind. Now, you got to be careful uh, going through this level. There are some uh, pretty tough enemies, uh, lots of pitfalls. So you definitely want to be careful going through this. Uh, down here is the Morning Star. Uh, probably not going to be using it for much, but just for the sake of com completion, being a completionist, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, before you cross the bridge, I suggest just going down this shortcut. Uh, over here you will get the Ring of Magical Dullness. Not quite here yet, but uh, it will be below. So I'm going to cross the Moongrass. I'm going to go ahead and grass up really quick. And even some more grass. And now, uh, if you go ahead and uh, drop down, you got to be careful for uh, these guys chilling back here. And here is the Ring of Magical Dullness, one of the rings that is required for a Platinum Trophy. As you know, you will have to get all the rings in the game. So here's one. Now I'm going to just go ahead and uh, eliminate, backtrack a little bit and eliminate all the enemies that we've missed so far. Pick up all the consumables. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and buy myself some time to rebuff. So I can effectively one-shot these guys with a wing spear. Uh, just be careful for these uh, guys who have uh, turpentine uh, spears. Uh, they can do some damage. Now that we've cleared out this area, we can go ahead and proceed back. Just want to show you guys what happens if you choose this route. Not much, not very eventful. And uh, going the other, the other way, you do get the uh, Ring of Magical Dullness, which is what we're aiming for right now. I need to go ahead and buff again real quick. Now, if you choose to jump off here, you can pick up Blessed Mace. So if you're not doing a Faith playthrough,
that'll be the easy way to uh, get a faint stone trophy and uh, easy way to get the blessed weapon so share the faint stone we'll be needing that some more crescent ingress and what do we got over here uh, just be careful not to fall off over here there's a shortcut to the area with the rats right underneath the filthy woman merchant and here's a bless mace plus one not a bad weapon comes in handy in the level uh, four one and four two uh, very effective against the skeletons so you can't use it in Shrine of Storms uh, these reds uh, they carry plague so I recommend just dealing them with either fire bombs or spells or arrows or crossbow bolts whatever you choose uh, unless you have a widow lotus in that case you can afford to catch a plague but uh, I'm gonna play it safe over here and just take them out from afar. Uh, they also drop shards of archstone, which you can use, I believe, to get back to the nexus. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, filthy woman sells some. Um, Run arrows as well as the priest gear doesn't sell any rings uh, she does sell white lotus which heals you from plague so if you do catch plague from uh, one of those stinking rats you can just run back to her and uh, uh, pick up some white lotus ooh and I uh, never realized how much uh, damage these guys actually do but it's quite a bit <laughs> Alrighty. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the priest guard and switch to that since it's a little lighter than the Mirden leggings that I got going on right now. Uh, this guy right here, he comes away, he comes alive. I don't think there is a way to kill him until you pick up the armor or the robes, I should say. But he does go down pretty easily, so not much of a challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of those guards in. And I'll actually go ahead and uh, purchase the priest gear from the filthy woman right here. Uh, I do like the way it looks, so that's really the only reason why you don't need it for the trophy or anything like that. Uh, in fact, the only item of note that she sells really is just a Widow Lotus, so just keep that in mind. Closer, closer. Use the hands. Alright. And let's see if I can throw on some of that stuff. Just for looks. Still be mobile. Nope. Oh, this will work. Not the most stylish look that I that I got, but this will do for now. This guy hits like a truck, so you want to avoid getting hit by him. And... Ooh, that was close. He also does a lot of... He also uh, goes for a lot of stamina reduction, so... Uh, just beware of him. This part right here is where uh, Istrel is located, which is the pure white world tendency event for this level. 
So keep that in mind. And watch out for the ambush here. These spear guys don't mess around. You can farm Marrow Stone, uh, which upgrades weapons via Fatal Path from these ticks right here. Right now they're being pretty stubborn, as you can tell, and not uh, dropping that off of me. Uh, these guys across the bridge. Uh, you just want to pretty much lure them your way with uh, the bow, either either with the bow or just coming close while having a thief ring on. Uh, ooh, and you definitely do not want to get hit by this guy a lot. Uh, he got too tenacious and followed me back, but was able to take care of him. Uh, actually, when you go for the spear, uh, be careful because there will be three of those guys chilling up top, and you'll need to pull them one by one. Otherwise, if you're doing this at a fairly low level, chances are you're going to get pretty fucked up. Uh, so now, as you can see, we're already at the boss gate. I'm just going to go ahead and take in a boss really quick. Uh, get the full moon grass right here and I'm gonna go ahead and engage the leechmonger uh, not a very tough boss uh, in fact if you just stand here and pelt him with arrows it should not take long at all to beat him Just watch out for when he, he does this attack and throws a bunch of uh, leech balls at you. Sometimes he, he's able to hit you, but uh, rule of thumb, if you just stand at the spot, uh, you'll be able to just cheese him with arrows and he's not going to be able to do anything back, so... And, as you can see, Leech Manga Trophy. Not a challenging boss at all. If you're feeling, uh, if you want to, if you want to challenge, then you can go ahead and, uh, go down there and try to melee him, but I'm not going to bother with this right now, so I'm just going to go and pick up all the loot items here. Shard of Sucker Stone. Press the moon grass. Uh, faint stone will be here as well. Uh, sometimes it doesn't appear right away, so you will have to just return. You do this a few times, and it will actually appear. Uh, it seems like sometimes the treasures, all the treasures that are scattered around here, don't appear right away. Uh, so best thing to do is just uh, evacuate and then come back uh, here from the nexus. So. It's a pretty badass look, I guess. Now I'm going to go back to the Nexus, and we're going to level up just a tad, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to retrieve Hysterel, and we'll go ahead and find ourselves a Myrtle Hammer. Uh, first, of course, we want to uh, dupe all the Faint Stone that we got there, and the Sucker Stone as well. Uh, 
Oh, and don't forget to, as always, you want to, uh, I don't think I exited out in time, but uh, don't forget to drop off all the crap that you don't need. So, that includes stuff like Sucker Stone, I'm only use it to upgrade one weapon, really. And uh, as well as the, all the armor that you don't wear, just go ahead and give it to Stockpile Thomas, because otherwise it's going to weigh you down. So, and here we go. Let's check if he got the uh, unlimited Sucker Stone, or if we need to do that again. Stone, yep, sucker stone is right here. We are it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just drop off that sucker stone. I'll use the faint stone to upgrade the weapon. And let's see here. Deposit item. Uh, what else am I not gonna wear? Uh, the Mirden leggings can go. Uh, I'll keep the, I guess I'll keep the Saints card for now. And the Morning Star can definitely go. Blast Mace, I'm going to upgrade. Uh, and we need to dupe the Wriggling Demon Souls as well. For our collection that we got going on. And let's see if we can level up for a little bit. No. Where is this maiden? Yes, I want to touch the demon side. And we'll just go upgrade Faith to 20. And the reason why we're doing that is because now we can talk to the pretty lady right here. And she will give us the pure faint stone. You get it for leveling up your faith to 20, so... Here we go. There she gave us a stone with ephemeral eyes and a pure faint stone, which will probably dupe. That's the easy way to get the pure faint stone. Otherwise, you're going to farm for it in the Valley of Defilement, and that does not sound like fun to me. I don't know about you. But your soul... Yeah, I look like a stud. I'm gonna lie. Alright, chainmail. And how much weight does that put us at? 27.2. Soon we're going to be able to rock this look. Uh, as of right now, still a little too heavy. Uh, let's see if. Uh, Saints robe. Yeah, I just don't like the look of this robe, sorry. Going for style points here, I guess. I'm going to deposit that chain mail since I can't wear it and all the hard, hard leather boots and all that other jazz. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go and see if we can get Isterel the spear. Now the tendency should be in pure white and it should, uh, shouldn't take us too long to get back to back to where we were now that we know where the, all the shortcuts are and we got the bridges down the bridge down by the reds and uh, yeah. we're just going to go ahead and proceed as we did the first time for all the ledges and stuff. Really don't like backtracking, but uh, Isterel is one of the required weapons for Platinum Trophy, so you might as well uh, use this opportunity to get it while you're at it.
just again, I guess, be careful uh, so you don't fall off or do anything stupid like that. Uh, you don't want to die and then go back to the Nexus and like screw yourself out of uh, pure white world tendency on this level. You'll need to get it again when uh, when you go for uh, Brand, uh, which you get in 5-3 from the Black Phantom, Carl Vinland, who is a pretty formidable enemy, uh, especially if you're relying on uh, the blessed weapons for damage. Uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, these guys still hit pretty hard, not as hard as they will on uh, Black World Tendency, but hard enough to notice, that's for sure. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop down here, take on these few guys. And again, here is a shortcut. You can either drop down there or you can just snipe them from up top. I'm feeling lucky, so I'll just go ahead and drop down there. It's no big deal. Gonna go ahead and see if uh, this crystal lizard will drop me any more new stones. No, it's still a faint stone, but that's okay. I'll take it because I'll need it for an upgrade. And now for the rats. I just do not want to deal with them in close range right now. Don't want to get plagued. Kind of me stuff, so I don't want to spend any unnecessary currency on the Widow Lotus or uh, resort to using the Dark Grass quite yet. You know, I have an infinity amount now. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and lure this guy across the bridge so he doesn't give us any trouble. Uh, don't forget to buff before he gets here. Or if he doesn't, just go ahead and climb this ladder. It just appeared. Notice it wasn't there before. Ooh, and that's pretty close. Hope he does well. Thankfully, he does not climb ladders. Now, just go ahead and follow this path. Uh, be careful so you don't fall off. Bunch of these guys guarding the passage. Now the big fella waiting for us right here. Just keep him at range and then his hits are pretty slow so you can deal with him without even buffing. Story Soldier Soul right here, and now we're gonna go up top a little bit, and there will be three enemies, three giant depraves, I think they're called depraves, uh, that you will want to pull towards you with a bow. You definitely do not want to take them all at once, at least not at the moment. Oh, I fucked up there. One guy's down, two to go. Go ahead.
ahead and hustle back there. And this guy wants to take some more arrows, which is fine with me. And he did himself in on this one. And now you can pretty much go ahead and take on this guy. He's the only guy left. Get thrusted, big boy. Isterel. There we go. Got one of the pure white world tendency weapons in this level. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the Nexus. Store this puppy. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get some. Uh, uh, chunks of Fainstone, where we fought the Leechmonger boss, and uh, then picked up, pick up the Mirdan Hammer and the Regenerator's Ring, and then we'll just teleport back, and we will make ourselves a blessed weapon. Now, see the, their new treasures that appear. One of them is Shard of Fainstone and one a Chunk. So, let's see if any of those are Chunks. Not yet. Sometimes this may take a few times, but you definitely want to check back up here. Oh, let's see, maybe this one is. Crescent Moon Grass. Being very stubborn right now. But it's alright. Uh, I think the third time you teleport here, you will get some chunks of Fainstone. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can farm for them either in 5.1 or 5.2. Uh, I believe they're also located in uh, 5.2. You can find some on the way to the boss, but I'm not going to go that far quite yet. So. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can teleport back here just one more time and pick up some chunks. Yeah, I'll be very unhappy if I get screwed over out of the chunks of blade faint storm here. It's usually a given that they appear over there, but for some reason the game is being stubborn right now, so we're going to go ahead and use this time to pick up some pick up some Meriden Hammer and uh, we'll pick up the Regenerator's Ring as well, which is, comes in handy for a fave build. Um, basically, you stack it, stack it with uh, High Faith, uh, Blessed Weapon, uh, and Adjudicator, Adjudicator Shield. And a Regeneration Spell, you can uh, get some major rec health recovery out of that. I believe Adjudicator Shield gives you 6 HP points per second when upgraded to plus 5. Um, not exactly sure about how much the Regenerator's Ring gives you and how much the fully upgraded Blessed Weapon gives you depending on your faith, I guess, but it adds up to quite a bit. I guess that's where I'm trying to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and take out these guys. All right, now Mirdan Hammer will be located, I believe it's right here in the South Cove. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. Now let's go ahead and pick up the regenerator screen. One of the more annoying uh, things about the swamp is that it drains your health and it makes you walk a lot slower. Uh, your stamina runs out pretty quick when you're running through it, so just keep an eye on your health and your stamina when you're going through here. Uh, there's also a nasty black phantom with a meat cleaver. Uh, definitely don't want to deal with that quite yet. I uh, just want to see if, good lord, this thing's slow. I just want to see if I can get some chunks of faint stones. For fuck's sake. Alright, let's see what's over there, I guess, huh? I think there is a broken sword there. Uh, the cat's ring is closer to the meat cleaver phantom. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to venture there quite yet. Uh, as you can see, health recovery items don't really do jack, that's why it's nice to have a blessed build for this area. Uh, you don't need to use the recovery items quite as often. And you automatically regenerate your HP, which comes in handy, so I definitely recommend it for your first playthrough. I think I'm getting dangerously close to running into this uh, Black Phantom. Picked up the Worst Guy. Pretty nice weapon for a Dex build, by the way. Uh, another Shard of Sucker Stone. Some dark moon grass. And a whole bunch of pressing moon grass. I'll just use up a majority of it. Uh, I simply don't care about it. And all it does is uh, dead weight in my inventory pretty much. Broken Sword uh, comes in handy if you are making a blue blood sword. Uh, the only, in fact, I believe the only weapon you can make it with is the. Oh, there she is. She's on patrol. Black turpentine. Let's see what the fuck is over here. It's a chunk of sucker stone. And I don't have the grave robber's ring quite yet. And I got the cat's ring, one of the rings required for the platinum, and I'm going to just go ahead and teleport back right now, and I'll take on the black phantom later. Now, I got the Mirrodin hammer. Uh, I want to upgrade it. Uh, first, I'm going to drop off some of the stuff I don't need, such as a uh, broken sword, Estrell, uh, War Skyf. And I want to dupe the chunk of sucker stone. Wait. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, 
I think I'm spending right now more time in the Nexus than I do on actually beating levels. You have a heart of gold. Might as well upgrade my Mirden Hammer to plus seven. Or plus six, I should say. Let's see if I got enough Hearthstone. And I'm gonna end up using right. some of these consumable souls that I've earned. Story Hero Soul. Legendary Soldier Soul. Get some nice uh, soul items when you are in the Valley of Defilement. Look at that. Rolling the bank. I'm going to have to level up too after this. I probably should have just equipped them instead of going for this manually, but oh well. Stubborn bastard right now. Oh well. Okay, I think that'll be all. I'm gonna go ahead and repair some equipment first. Uh, this stuff is going to get upgraded to plus 10 fairly soon, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, uh, what was I going to do here? I can tell you, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, upgrade Merlin Hammer to plus 6. What's the hurry? Yeah, we'll talk to me in black, level up our endurance a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, swing this armor. Thank you. We'll put on some yeah. chainmail. Uh, how close are we? Not that close yet. You don't really get any other good light armor until you get into the Tower of Latria. There you'll get some assassin stuff, uh, which you can use. So I'll just go ahead and drop off that piece of chainmail, which I'm not using right now. Wait, nice if we could just get a nice white shirt. A v-neck, maybe. <laughs> some more money stuff. Alright. Now let's go ahead and uh, see if the faint stone is there. Chunks of faint stone? No? Not too happy about this. Not happy about this at all. Uh, we might have to do uh, stage 5 just because I want to get it. I want to get it. I know it's somewhere here. God, this is really pissing me off. Really wanted to make a blessed weapon. Oh, look at all these summon signs. Yeah, just return to the next, I suppose.
try this one more time real quick. Let's see. Come on, give me some. Give me some sugar, baby. WTF. Totally got screwed over of uh, painstone chunks, but it's all right. It's all right, everybody. We're just gonna go ahead and just roll what we got. Uh, we're gonna go ahead to uh, the blacksmith. Ed and we'll upgrade some of the stuff to the blast gear, which we're gonna rock throughout the game. Uh, let's go ahead and take some. We'll take the claymore as well, so we're gonna upgrade that. Wait, where are you going? Uh, first, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it to plus six. Hopefully, we'll have enough. Uh, shards and everything we do bravo and now that we've got all this stuff let's go pay a visit to blacksmith ed and start upgrading stuff to blessed weapons. I was worried about it there all day there for a second, but hopefully I didn't. Great weapon. Claymore is going to bless Claymore. Plus two. Can't make it plus three because I don't have any chunks. Uh, bless Mace is going to go to plus two as well. Can go make it to plus three. Uh, let's see. Bless Mirdan Hammer, uh, aka the Doomstick. It's going to go up to plus two as well. And now I'll leave you guys on this note. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And you